hi um good morning i just thought i'd do a video because i haven't done one for a while um i've done one with monty before um to do with his feet just nail clipping but today i think i'm going to go a little bit more in depth um with monty he's about two now um and he has a problem with his feet um he gets spurs on his feet which I'll show you in a minute, but spurs are a bit like nails and keratin from the hair um, and they're hard little bits that stick out of the foot, which you can just cut the same as nails. Um, I'll show you his, if he'll let me today. He's very good in the other video, but we'll see what he's like today. So as you can see, his nails need to be cut as well. We'll just quickly do those. And obviously with these, because they're clear nails, you can see where the actual quick is on these. This is the spur. It's actually quite long. It's grown really quickly, this one. And as you can see, it's just basically the same consistency as a nail. And what I'm just going to do is cut it as close to the skin as I can without causing many problems. All right, darling, I know it's not very nice, is it? And he's got a couple of, here's where I've cut the before and it's grown in a different place this time. And you just have to make sure, because they can actually catch them themselves on um, on things in their hutches or whatever you keep them in CNC's. Um, so you just really need to keep an eye on them all the time. And this one, and it should have one exactly the same place the other side, which he has. They usually mirror. Come on, darling, you're very good last time. All right, you're not going to give me your foot this time, are you? All right, calm down. Um, and as you can see, he's just got one just there as well, which is in the same place. All right, we'll do it a different way. We'll just do it this way. Okay. And that one's come off a lot easier. And do his nails as well. Aren't you? All right, darling. His nails seem to grow really, really quickly because I didn't do them that long ago. All right, so I'm just splaying them out. All right, sweetheart. All right, sweetheart. All right, don't nibble my finger. There we go, sweetheart. All right, all right. You're having cuddles. You don't like that very much, did you? Oh, is that upsetting? Yeah, he's just burrowing his head into me at the moment. Didn't like that. No. Dear me. You don't want to tear around to the camera, do you? Let me hold you a little bit. Oh, he's very cuddly today. And so that's all you need to do really with spurs. Um, is just cut them as close to the skin as you can. Um, Otherwise, they do catch them, they do bleed, so you just need to keep on top of them. You can um, keep them on towels um, or fleece, the guinea pigs that get them, because they're less likely to get them caught. Um, but with him, I actually have, did start doing that with him, but he's actually better on um, just sawdust with lots of, obviously, lots of hay. Um, and they seem to be okay. Oh, you didn't like that at all, did you? He was very cuddly today. But as you can see, it's just a hard, hard bit of skin, just like the nails. Really, really hard, so just need to keep cutting it. There we go. And that's what I wanted to say today, really, just a quick one about spurs. So anybody that's worried about them, don't be. Um, there is other foot problems that you can get, which is bumblefoot, but bumblefoot looks slightly different. Um, but I haven't got any guinea pigs with bumblefoot, so I can't show you what that looks like. Um, but just wanted to show you what the spares look like today. If you like this video, then like it. Subscribe, there's a button below. Um, any comments uh, or worries about your guinea pigs, then um, ask away and I'll see whether I can answer you. But thank you very much for watching and Monty says bye-bye. He's having cuddles for a little bit because he's still a little bit scared. Thanks for watching. Bye.